Why is the housing market so cooked? We need to go back in time. 1945, the world is rebuilding and those who served in World War II are returning home. The population is booming, but there's a shortfall in housing supply. So Governments are investing in the construction of public housing and infrastructure, creating jobs and affordable homes for those who need it. Making up a whopping 26.1% of all new dwellings being built. Publicly owned and operated assets are stabilizing the market for generations, keeping private dwelling costs down thanks to the competition they provide to private developments. Those lucky enough to survive the war have put their lives on hold for the good of their communities. Sound familiar? So ensuring the basic needs of the people is the least that governments could do, right? Right? Remember this is we pop by the 80s. A new economic theory has taken over the developed world. A higher power has captured democracy. Big business. Conservative leaders like Thatcher and Reagan. And even progressive leaders like Hawke are in love with neoliberalism. Views the world as economies first and society second. Which is minimizing the role of government. And removing safeguards. In the belief that free, unregulated markets are more efficient. <clears throat> profitable. Homes become investments. People become resources. Policies become business plans. Back to 2023 and 40 years of neoliberalism has created staggering inequality. Like holy hell. In Australia, 93% of the economic growth is pocketed by the top 10% compared to the 50s and 60s, where 96% of the growth went to the bottom 90%. How are we meant to compete with that? Democracy is now pay to play. The people with the deepest pockets now design our policy, not the politicians. Successive neoliberal governments from both sides of politics have defected their responsibility to plan for the future, instead opting to make a quick buck from the sale of our assets. They've sold off public land, roads, air, education, rail, communications, banks, energy, water, natural resources, health, and housing, and leave us to squabble over which generation is to blame. I'm a boomer. Stop boomer bashing. Do you agree with you? As much as I've done that myself, I'll admit. All the while, the cost of living continues to grow and so do profits. And the revolving door between politics and big business continues to spin. We're in a housing crisis, yet the government is only committed to building an average of 4,000 new affordable homes a year. If we built at the same per capita rate as we did in the 60s, it would be 150,000. The neoliberal experiment has failed. Part 3 will explore some solutions and see where we're headed if we don't change.